Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are watching the station identification of one of Whalen City's resident YouTubers. Live in the basement, this is not MTV's remote control, and he is not Ken Ober, God rest Ken Ober's soul. This is WEML-TV, Channel 77, and now here's your host, New Bedford, Massachusetts' own Mr. Eric M. Lima. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Mr. Announcer. Hey, I'm back. That's right. Where am I? Well, I'm not in the basement. But you are watching WEML TV Channel 77. And guess what? That's right. I'm not in the basement. I'm heading towards the Wellington City Festival as we speak. And guess what? Not a raindrop. A lot of clouds. A lot of clouds, but that's okay. I don't mind cloudy. Why? One, if the sun comes out, it'd be way too hot. And I don't want to be worn out. And two, a pretty good chance that I'm not going to get sunburned. <laughs> so, so we are about to. Yeah, I parked. Oh, forgive me, I just got, got out of the shower. Got my had lunch, did my laundry, doing my laundry, and uh, now I'm heading towards the festival. That's right. And uh, as you know, wear my British Bulldog T-shirt, British Bulldog, my Red Sox, my custom-made Red Sox jersey, with my initial, my first name initial, and my uh, last name in the back. But I want to give a shout out to um, a new subscriber to the channel. Venom 74 799 or 74799. Welcome to my crazy world. That is WEML TV channel 77. This is episode 366, just to let you know. I'll tell you one thing. Last night watching SmackDown, I gotta tell you, I'm going to admit this. SmackDown is really gonna kick up a notch with the women's division. I mean, you think about it. <laughs> Tony Storm's on her way, and Tegan Knox and Shotzi Black are already making their debut. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty excited. This SmackDown's gonna be good. Liv Morgan will be replacing Carmella in the Money in the Bank. Because Carmella will be challenging Bianca Belair this coming Friday night on SmackDown in front of a large crowd, live crowd in Houston. For the, for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And uh, as you can tell already, there's people there. Who am I going to run into here at the Fent Wellness City Festival as I'm about a block away from it? Well, check that out. If I can, if I can get, if I can, uh, it's behind me, right behind me in the Wellness City Festival. Unbelievable, right? It's insane. Let me tell you. I don't see a wrestling ring yet. I'll find out if that's already been set up or not. We will see. I'll see if there's any cool, cool stuff I can get from here. But you never know. You never know. I know they had a circus a couple of years ago. And uh, we will see. We will see. Well, as I head up, I'm gonna take a look around. There's some people, there's people all the way around. And uh, I don't see a wrestling ring. I do not see a wrestling ring. I was very, very surprised. Not yet, anyways. Um, there's some people here already. Um, Let's see, whoops. Oh no, I see the wrestling ring now. I see the ring now. <laughs> this is crazy, isn't it? You never know who I'm gonna run into at this festival. You never know who I'm gonna run into. It is, it's something that, uh, um, oh, they have 
the pixel store. Ooh, some old school Atari. Ah, since I got the Retron 77, only be a matter of time, bro. So, who knows what's gonna happen. And I don't want people behind, behind me here. And uh, this is, uh, I don't know when the wrestling's gonna start, but one thing's for sure, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Right on, Chris. Um, one of my YouTube viewers is, and my good friend. So we're gonna, let's see. There's people here. There's a guy with onion rings on like Tom Dalla from Hero. <laughs> I see. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Oh man, this is crazy. They got everything going on. Only another time I haven't seen one person I ran into so far. I'll see what has happened. So I better uh, calm down a bit with the video and now uh, I will see you in the next chapter, okay? And I'm gonna enjoy myself later. Hey, Eric Lehman here once again and coming at you with another, uh, with a festival update. Just finished watching Showcase Pro Wrestling and uh, it, and it was great, uh, Showcase Pro Wrestling. Uh, again, I think it's at 6 or 7 o'clock, so I'm going to be back there. The main event will be a triple threat match. Vega will be defending his uh, heavyweight title against Carl Slavin and um, Bobby Ocean. That'll be a heck of a matchup. Saw a tag team title match with the Pyramids of Power defended against the Big Nasty Dogs, the team of Buck Nasty and Big Dog Butler. <laughs> who just insulted my Patriots, so what? You know, who, no big deal. Um, also... Uh, Also, I ran to a couple, a few, a few of my friends already, which is really, really cool. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Uh, the, the, the eats are good. Well, I mean, the, the eats smell nice. So, yeah. So we got that. A lot of people. Good, good turnout. Decent turnout. A decent turnout. I don't know, I don't know who I'm going to run into this time. But I've been here you know, watching wrestling. Started at two and ended at three. So you're talking about an hour, so it's going to be a whole lot of fun. And uh, let's see what else is uh, going on. I'm looking around here, and uh, yeah, a lot of people are at the, at the food, man. Well, not, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Am I surprised? Huh, not really. <laughs> so, yeah, when you're hungry and you're famished, you know, you got to eat something, you know? So, uh, so there's that. So, well... Well, that is the update. I'll give you an update later on, later on the episode as well, and uh, I will be uh, seeing you guys. So, have a good one. Okay, here, here we go. Here's another update from episode 366 of WEML TV, channel 77. I want to make sure people don't think I'm taping them, because I'm not. I'm taping myself here. Just, just sitting down, chilling out for the time being. And, um... A lot of good people. The East smell nice and everything else. Is, like I said, a wrestling show found out at 6 o'clock. And my British Bulldog shirt has been a, um, a decent hit among a wrestling fan, Among the wrestlers, a couple of wrestlers. Uh, to, to me, um, SOG Ronnie Ribs says best shirt ever. Nice shirt. And, you know, it, it good, it's good to, it's good to people tell me this. Because I want to pay uh, respects and tribute to the legends out there. Um, tomorrow, um, tomorrow afternoon... Here at the Wellness City Festival, there will be a Wellness City Festival Championship Tournament. There'll be a first ever Wellness City Festival cr Champion crowned on Showcase Pro Wrestling. Um, but the SPW Wrestling, that's, that's, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's on YouTube as well, and all the social media uh, outlets, and give them a follow. And uh, I got I to gotta tell you, it's been, it's been a nice, uh, nice uh, festival so far. The time is... 405, so I got two hours left, and I have not eaten a thing yet. Uh, just, just went to the bathroom and whatnot, so I'm all set, ready to go. Sanitize myself, and uh, like I said, it's been, it's, been, it's been a decent day today. Uh, went to work, came home, ordered lunch, ate lunch at home, dealt with the laundry, made sure everything is on the up and up, and uh, we're ready to. And we were end up ready to go, so uh, so so there's that. And I took a shower too. I may not look at it now, but because uh, it, it is getting a little warm out here, but uh, 
nonetheless, there's a lot of good, good amount of people here. Um, I'm looking around, and uh, yeah, it's a good, it's a good amount of people. So, uh, let's see what else. Um, I ran, I ran to one of my many cousins here at, at the festival, of course. Ran to a former neighbor of mine as well. Really good people. And uh, don't know who I'm going to run into this time around, but uh, as the afternoon gets up, a little blue sky is trying to break out. The sun's trying to break out too. So well, I see a little bit of blue skies and everything else. So it has been cloudy, it has not rained. This is perfect. To me, this is perfect, perfect weather for the Wellesley Festival. Perfect weather. And uh, so um, there will be a main event, like I said, the main event tonight for Showcase Pro Wrestling at 6 would be the um, the, the heavyweight title will be on Lime Vega. The punish, the punish. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No problem. Uh, it's not my table. <laughs> it's a free country. Remember, you can sit anywhere you want. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, no big deal. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, the Punisher Don Vega defends the title against uh, Carl Slavin and uh, hard-hitting Bobby Ocean. So that's going to be a heck of a main event tonight. And uh, I don't know if there will be any tournament qualifiers for the uh, Wild City Festival champ uh, Championship. But we'll find out when we get there later tonight. So, all right. So that's, uh, that's my uh, second or third update of, of the uh, Wild City Festival. I think it's my, yeah, it's my third update. So, like I said, this will be in, uh, bunched up in a uh, bunch of videos and uh, upload them up to YouTube and whatnot. We'll have some fun. All right. So, uh, I'll see you guys later and uh, have, a good, have a good one. It's me again, and I'm sitting down. I'm enjoying the scenery of the Wayland City Festival. In fact, in my personal opinion, this has been the perfect weather. Not a whole lot of sun and... A whole bunch of clouds, not too hot, not too cold. It was just right. And uh, unbelievable. Move out of my people. Down in my view. And uh, it has been a good day at the festival. I have done everything that I need to do today. All I need to do is do the rest of my laundry when I get home. Possibly play a little bit Saturday Superstar Cade. I'll probably get going on that and possibly make sure that everything is on the up and up it has been it has been uh, quite the uh, quite a long day today and uh, believe it or not believe it or not day's not over as yet still got um, wrestling show tonight like I say a triple threat match for the SPW Heavyweight championship between the between Don Vega, Carlos Slavin, and Bobby Ocean. That'll be a, a triple threat for the championship. And tomorrow there'll be a tournament to crown the first ever Wayland City Festival champion. So, so there's that. And um, after tomorrow, back to reality on Monday. And who, and who knows what's going to happen for the next few weeks. As July progresses, we're ha um, we'll be through the halfway mark. As crowds get back in into live with the WWE, can't wait for that. With the um, first SmackDown with the live crowd. So, got my picture taken with a mask wrestling clown named Mr. Pickles and Mr. Showcase Pro Wrestling and referee Frank Rocha. I thought it was really cool. And they're going to have another picture, opp uh, photo opportunity. Five bucks. So if you're a wrestling fan, come down and uh, enjoy yourselves. My British Bulldog shirt has been a huge hit with some of the some of the, some of the people that you're seeing. They say, awesome shirt. Ran to a former Ruby co-worker. Uh, like I said, uh, went to one of my cousins. And that's about it so far. So we're... Now he's still young. I'm just trying to relax my feet because I've been walking around for a, almost a total of eight hours. I mean, you got four, almost four today at work this morning. And, and, uh, 
I have four now, so. And I got less than what? Less than, th less than three hours left. Less than three hours left till, till the festival closes for the day. And we got one more day and that's tomorrow. What will happen then? I have no clue. So, this ends another portion, another uh, report from the Wayland City Festival live in Buttonwood Park in New Bedford. I'm Eric Lima of WEML TV, Channel 77, episode 366. I'll see you guys. Okay, okay, that concludes a day at the Wayland City Festival for Saturday, July the 10th. That's right, Eric Lima hosting WEML TV, Woo! Channel 77. And we had a, took a picture of the most ridiculous wrestling manager in Showcase Pro Wrestling history. He's got the, whose socks are so loud, okay? His socks, you know how loud his socks are? His socks are so loud, I just went deaf just by looking at him. That's how ridiculous the, <laughs> this, this guy is. I mean, seriously. I mean, like, seriously, man. I'm like, I'm running to my good friend Dragon. Like, seriously. Oh, what a day. What a day. Had a great time. Now, the festival is closing at 8. We're, I'm going home. <clears throat> I'm totally going home. Uh oh. Oh, somebody fell. That kind of stung. stung. Hopefully, they're okay. And, uh,. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the British Bulldog shirt has been a huge hit. I don't know what shirt I'm going to wear tomorrow. All I know is wrestling's back to two and five. So I want to head to the car right now. I'm going to head to the car and uh, I'll tell you what, I had a great time overall. Took some pictures and tomorrow's the last day at the festival. But not only that, kids. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a tournament, a King of the Throne tournament to crown the first ever Whalen City Festival champion. So, so the tournament is a twofold. You get the crown or you get the belt. So, it is something to, to do. So, I am having a wonderful time. I had a wonderful time, I should say. And my voice is a little hoarse, but um, as, pre, uh, as pro, um, Showcase Pro Wrestling will be on YouTube. So if you hear an incoherent idiot running his mouth, screaming at the wrestlers, well, that would be me. So, uh, that would be me. So, huh. so I'm having a, oh man, this is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. What a day. What a day. I haven't eaten supper yet. Can you believe that? I haven't, haven't eaten dinner yet. Don't know wh where to go, but I will uh, find a place to go to eat, because I didn't eat anything at the festival. And hence, I walked out of the festival with nothing, and that was my goal. Only a couple of pictures. They'll be on Facebook tomorrow. If I showcase pro wrestling, that's it. I'll probably download them and put them on my Facebook as well. And I did pay for them, so so there's that. So, uh, what a day that was. Ran into a few people. My nose is red. No, I'm not drunk. Look like Rudolph, though. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's been a crazy, crazy day. Good thing I found a, found a parking space near the festival. No, I didn't park in this neighborhood. Oh, it was a nice, beautiful neighborhood if you think about it. <clears throat> so, my scouting report for the Wayland City Festival. I get us a thumb up, two thumbs up, no, thumbs, one thumbs up, and two thumbs up. I'll do a thumb up on the other one. Well, that's really well done. I know they found out they had an actual work from the show last night. Thing is, it's got sunny afterwards. But, but to say the least, it is time for me to uh, get to stepping. And I'm going to upload these videos, merge them together, edit them, and I'm going to have some fun. All right? This concludes episode 366 of WEML TV, channel 77, Wellness City Festival Scouting Report for, for June. I don't know if I do June. 
we're in July now, are we not? Yeah, we're in July. July. Huh. <laughs> July 10th, 2021. All right, I gotta charge this bad boy up. I'll see ya. You guys have a good and wonderful night. And bless out.